Not even close. Not even close. People do not think I'm a CPA. They are totally surprised. <laughs> they were stuffy old people. Your friend's geeky father. I'll show you 500 FBI CPAs and they're no nerds. The old stereotype of someone just sitting there crunching numbers, that is such a small part of the job. It's a great gig. My dream job has always been to work for the Giants. We do litigation consulting. I'm the assistant controller at Lucasfilm. Um, I'm at Geffen Records. Commercial Bank and Union Bank of California. Controller for the San Francisco 49ers. A special agent for the FBI, which means I'm a sworn law enforcement officer. I carry a gun and train in the use of weapons and tactical operations, and I'm a certified public accountant. CPA. We are detectives uh, in, a, in a financial sense. As an accountant, you're dealing with some fairly complex technical issues. You're trying to take a whole lot of information and summarize it into a one-page document that someone can look at and understand and get an answer from. It's a very wide career. It's a lot more than just what we normally think of an accountant as being. As a marketing planner, I'm basically responsible for um, all the marketing, determining all the marketing costs that each of our artists get. I do all the baseball reporting for Major League Baseball. My first job out of school, I worked for, actually I worked for the uh, Joint Legislative Audit Committee for the state of California and I was an auditor. Supervise payroll, manage money, and you got to manage a lot of money in, in a baseball organization. I have to account for all of this. <laughs> One party has sued another party. We try to trace, reconstruct what happened. We do a lot of work with the athletes. Fraud, cybercrime, uh, intellectual property fraud, public corruption. My responsibilities in the broader sense are to protect the United States. Being a part of one of 32 NFL teams is incredibly exciting. It's great to go see a movie um, and see your company's name come up on the screen and think, you know, I work for that company. I was part of getting this movie produced. Basically, I, I, I recommend or make loan decisions up to uh, $50 million. The attorneys need an accounting expert or consultant to assist in assessing the case that would entail uh, testifying in depositions and in court. Marketing basically includes everything from artist development, making the artist pretty, for the photo shoots, giving them press, video. I'm responsible for making sure we have the money for it, but not only we have the money, but we make making smart decisions. From a film standpoint, we work with the production accountants who put together their actuals versus their production budgets so that the producers can see how they're doing during their production schedules. You're typically dealing with the people who are leading society, either in the form of, of arts, of manufacturing, in science, journalism, in government. You meet these people because they seek you out. In your heart, you know, boy, this is really interesting work, and you know, no two cases are the same. There's, there's not a typical day for a CPA and the FBI. We'll be out. Uh, many hours doing uh, surveillances. I'm um, identifying key pieces of evidence that we're going to use in the case against the bad guys. It's a very fast-paced um, environment um, to work in, but it's very casual. As you can see, I'm wearing my jeans and my t-shirt. Getting my foundation within accounting has really been really beneficial to my career. Having your CPA gives you a huge advantage over other people in the accounting industry that don't. That foundation in accounting allowed me to go wherever I wanted to go. I mean, it sounds kind of corny, but it really is the, you know, the language of business. If you have that skill set um, of accounting, you can venture off into many areas. My job is to really see that it all comes together uh, in a coordinated, coordinated unit. But as I joke around, my job is really just to go to parties and meet people. There's a lot of perks. Part of a relationship and part of business development is, is entertaining. National League champions in 2002, and the entire front office staff got rings. I'm waiting for my World Series ring. We, we take them to dinner, we take them to lunch, uh, we go to sporting events. I think I saw 65 home games last year. It allowed me to put together a couple of things that I really like. Being physically fit and not being stuck in an office all day was a big attraction for me. The environment here was 
just unbelievable. It just, every day brings something new. It's never repetitive. I come in, I use our gym facilities downstairs, which is one of the nice perks of working here before the players get in. We have a fabulous gym. Our primary product is music, so we get to play our music really loud. I get to watch um, all the, you know, the videos that our artists are on, meet artists and be involved in uh, the up and up. We get to see movies usually the weekend that they open in a local movie theater, private screening for the employees. Sometimes you get celebrities. Personally, I think coming to the ballpark every day is a perk. I mean, I, I have to come to the ballpark every day. And I have friends who are very envious of where I work and what I do. I took my first accounting class in high school. They offered an elective, and I learned how to keep the books of a small sales company, and I thought, this is kind of cool. In high school, I was introduced to an internship program. I didn't always know that I wanted to be in accounting. I actually, um, you know, accounting just kind of happened. I was an accounting major because I thought it would be good preparation for the law, law degree, and uh, uh, as I got deeper into it, I realized uh, that the opportunities were much more dynamic, uh, much better in accounting than what they were in law. And I knew that accounting, there's always going to be career opportunities in accounting. So I was looking for really consistency and, um, you know, job availability. It could be any kind of business in a baseball team, in a football team, in a concert promoter. Every single business has to have accountants. You do have to enjoy math to a certain extent but you don't have to be a math whiz. Uh, it's all about relationships. It's about understanding how their business works and being able to communicate that. You know, writing skills, reading skills are extremely important. Someone who is a really good problem solver does really well in the accounting field. Try an accounting class is one of your base courses. If it's something that is okay, it's not, most people either love it or hate it. If you hate it, move on. But if you like it, and it's not that hard for you, that first accounting class, then you might have just what it takes to be the right type of person to go into accounting. One of the things to really be successful in accounting is you have to really want to be able to help people. You have to be able to be yourself, number one. You can't put it on. And then number two, you've got to be able to communicate with those people and, and communicate, communicate clear, clearly. <laughs> that was good. That's one thing actually about getting your CPA there is definitely an advantage. If there's somebody who just likes to accept the same old, same old, they shouldn't get into accounting. If they want something that's going to be challenging them every day, uh, I think they should get into it because the, 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 the personal, the professional, the economic rewards uh, are just, uh, I think, would, would surprise many people. Oh.